So you had an interesting time with veganism because that's yeah. a big thing. How was your interesting time? How was your experience being a vegan? Yeah, my experience being vegan. So I'm totally healthy and happy. Totally, totally happy and healthy, just like the cows. You know, <laughs> they were all happy together, big family. <laughs> yeah, veganism was motivated due to my psychedelic experience, actually. I encountered, if you will, in a vision, the suffering of the world. At least that's how I want to interpret it. I even had Jesus appear to me in that vision. Interesting. At least yet again, that's how I like to interpret it. Yeah. Might be true, might not be true. And I just saw that every life that you can save mm. isn't that positive for the universe. Okay. That's what I saw. I was like, oh, great. So then, hmm, might as well stop eating meat. Right. Because Buddhism and Hinduism were promoting those doctrines. Right. So, yeah, long story short, I did it for four years straight. Wow. Yeah, I stuck with it. And initially, I tried the whole food plant-based diet. So that means this is the diet that has been promoted by the World Health Organization as the healthiest diet there is, period. Okay. But it's been promoted as the healthiest diet. It's perfectly suitable, is the quote, for every stage of life. Even for babies. Can I feed them a plant-based diet? Mind you, all of those plants are man-made. If you go a thousand years back, we had not one of those plants around. Yeah. Broccoli is manufactured. If you find broccoli in nature, you know how it looks like? No. It's a little leaf, a little green, bitter leaf. Really? You so would never eat it. A good thing you're telling me that I eat broccoli. So, yeah. Never so, eat it. Don't. Did you guys hear that? Don't eat your broccoli. Man. Don't eat broccoli. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so broccoli is not from nature. No, broccoli is not from nature. Carrots are not from nature. Cabbage is not from nature. You're blowing my mind right Bananas now. are not from nature. Right? All of those fruits, mangoes, etc., are not from nature either. I like mangoes, but it's not the only They're beautiful. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but anyways, they're not from nature. So if you look at a banana, for example, right. you can Google that too. A wild banana. A wild banana is roughly uh, this size. Wow. And this packed with seeds. Because think about it. Uh, Every plant in nature good point. needs to survive. Right. So how do they survive? It's Through seeds. pollination, yeah. through seeds. So a fruit without a seed, and there's something that you can read in the Bible as well, it said that you should never ingest any fruit without seeds. Good it's point. interesting because back then, I don't think they had them without seeds. Right. Well, that's good. Anyways, part of the story is that <laughs> they're almost inedible. Mm. If you would eat a banana in nature, they're green, they're small, you peel them, you eat around the seeds, and then you spit out the seeds, and this is how the banana tree grows. It's probably not much those, in there. Then. It's no, it's not. It's not that carby either. So mm. one banana like that has maybe, maybe three to five grams of carbohydrates. Mm. And a average Cavendish banana has roughly 30 grams of carbohydrates, mm. right? Because they have been bred. The way that bananas are manufactured is by cloning. It's not like the scientific cloning per se. Right. It's more about just cutting off the banana mm. and then pollinating the stem and then implanting this. So like that, a new plant will grow okay. without a seed. It will just replicate. It's like taking off a branch of a tree yeah, yeah, yeah. and making that into a tree. Then if you do that over generations, over generations, over generations, they will lose all their seeds. Side note, this is something that has been done in the marijuana industry as well, because they want the sticky icky. They don't want any seeds in their wheat. Right, right. And this is why nowadays wheat has no seeds anymore again. So it has to be cloned. Yeah. Anyways, that being said, when you do that, you maximize the effect. With wheat, you have more THC. With bananas and other fruits, you have more carbohydrates. Mm. Those are fruits. Fruits are not that dangerous if you do that, other than that you have an excess of carbohydrates. Okay. With the green leafy vegetables, on the other hand, those things are poisonous in nature. Because ah. in nature, everything tries to survive and protect itself. Right. So if you look at an animal that has claws, right. fangs, teeth, plants don't have that. Thorns. They have thoughts, yeah. right, good point. But other than that, they have something called phytonutrients, which is not a nutrient, it's a chemical. Okay. And those are defense chemicals. So before fertilizers, etc., the plants used to defend themselves. If there's an insect, for example, it dies if it eats the plant. Yeah, they don't eat the plant. However, as humans, we are more resilient. Mm. So therefore, we can eat a bunch of them. However, this is what led now in this modern day and age to IBS, for example, because it attacks our gut lining. Those anti-nutrients attack our gut lining and destroys our health overall. Because that is affected as well. People started modifying those plants, as I said. So breed them in a way that they contain more carbohydrates, become more sweet. Mm. Yet again, matter of fact is that you don't have those in nature whatsoever. At least 90% of your produce, when you go to a supermarket and you see those colorful aisles, they're man-made. 
uh, a carrot, for example, you can Google that too. It was just a little root. Just the root. You know, think about it, right? The carrot, what is it? It's the part? Yeah, it's the root. It's the root. Yeah. And then you have this little green stuff on top. Mm. That is the actual plant. And the carrot is the root. It used to be this thin. Wow. Bitter as well. And then we started crossbreeding, 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 making them sweeter. Dude. So anyways, part of the story is, to not give you a dietary lesson here, that all of those plants, or most of those plants, are man-made. And therefore, the question becomes, of course, if they are not natural in the first place, and we, evolutionary as well, yeah. survive for such a long time without them, right. why would we then need them for perfect health? Especially if the fittest survived already. Right. And then you look back into our original diet, it would have been at least 90% meat-based. Right. And why do we have canine, right? Because like, canine wouldn't be needed if we weren't meant to eat meat. Not at all. Moreover, we don't have hind guts like cows. We right. don't ferment the plant matter. No, we no. don't have that possibility. Quite the opposite. If we eat a bunch of fiber, we get congested, we get bloated. Mm, interesting. Right. So anyways, yeah, this is something that I learned the hard way because, as I said, I was vegan for four years straight, believing the propaganda, listening to the science. That's what they call it. You know? Science. Science, yeah. Yeah. And the experts, of course. Mm. And that destroyed my health. So really? after one year, I still felt okay, mm. very hungry, but okay. And I didn't listen to my body. So this is when I started reading further and trying to adjust my diet. As I said, I started with this whole food plant-based diet. Then I went raw vegan because they told me raw plants. So this is the way Ooh. to go. No cook. Nothing. Wow. Just salads and fruits. And then later on, I cut out even the salads because okay. just fruits are the way. Interesting. Just fruits. That failed completely. Then I did the fasting, failed as well. Then I went back to a whole food plant-based diet. And now four years passed. My teeth were rotting out. Mm. One reason why I'm wearing this Invisalign here is to straighten them out again due to veganism. Ah, oh, so they, they start becoming crooked. Really? Yes. Because if you look into it, a vegan diet has no creatine whatsoever. And I'm going to list the nutrients in a second. There's no creatine whatsoever. Mm. Creatine is only found in meat, in red meat, by the way. So I love meat. Only red meat. And what they found out is actually they gave roughly 5 to 10 grams of creatine to vegans. And they saw a huge, huge rise in IQ and wow. brain capacity. So vegan can actually make you stupid. <laughs> no, it doesn't make you stupid, for sure. And this is actually, I believe, the detriment of the diet because you keep on doing it. Because you become dumber and then you cannot snap out of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's wild. Anyway, so... This is fun stuff. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. Don't do you, it. If you listen about it, it's fun stuff. That's funny because you don't hear about this. No, of course not. All you hear about on the news with, you know, even scientific channels is the benefits of, of yeah. eating plant-based food and not eating meat and how meat's horrible for you and yeah. there's nothing good in meat. But this is stuff you don't hear about. Exactly. I would claim without being too conspiratorial that there's an agenda behind it as well. If you want to stay on the surface level, okay, let's say plants are much more profitable. Okay, let's just say it's True. money. I would say it goes way, way further than that. But nevertheless, it is much more profitable than raising cows. Well, I mean, knowing that certain nutrients are, are essential for the human body and then depriving the people from it, definitely something behind it. I would say so. There's actually something behind it when you look into Kellogg's. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, uh, the founder, I forgot his name, you have to Google this as well. However, he was part of a certain Christian sect. Mm. And this is a fact, it's not a conspiracy theory. So he was looking for a way to stop young boys from masturbating excessively. Wow. So in turn, lowering the testosterone levels. Interesting. And he saw that a egg breakfast is actually raising their need to masturbate. I don't know mm. how he observed this. <laughs> It was Christian, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's like what I was going to be So anyway, so he came to the conclusion that he has to manufacture a meal for breakfast that will wow. stop them from masturbating because masturbation is a sin. Wow. Right? So that's how cornflakes got to be. It's no joke. You can look this up. There's no conspiracy theory whatsoever. This is what he created them for. And the same applies to the Weetabix company. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I've seen them. Yeah, they are common in Australia. So yeah, it's a... Adventist, I believe, church as well that invented those really? with the same motivation behind them. And of course, because they are so deprived of nutrition, you see the label fortified. And fortified uh -huh. simply means chemical supplements. Right. That's it. Unnatural again. Unnatural. So if you look one last thing into the vegan diet, people will tell you that you have to supplement vitamin B12. Right. And that's correct. Right. Yeah, but it's not is. only vitamin B12. So you don't have any vitamin D3. Even iron is hard to find. You right? don't have 
proper heme iron, which is the iron that you find within the blood. Okay. You don't have heme iron within plants, you just have a precursor of it. Mm. And if your body will convert it, that is up to the individual body. They found, for example, that Scottish women cannot convert it at all. If you're Scottish, be careful. Whatsoever. So you don't have any creatine, mm. as I said. You don't have any carnosine either. Mm. You don't have any carnitin either, which are all amino acids found within meat. And moreover, we have receptors for them in our gut. This is why you get satiated when you eat a steak. Mm. A steak, for example, a 200 gram steak, doesn't have that many calories. It doesn't. But you're satiated enough. That's true. How come? Right? This is because we have receptors, again, involved with our receptors here, for carnitin. So once again, humans were meant to eat meat. Though. 100%. Right. Even by an evolutionary perspective, right. you would have to admit that. Right? Then you don't have K2, you don't have proper vitamin B6 either, you don't have real calcium, you have just, just again, this precursor of it, et cetera, et cetera. You can boil it down to at least 15 nutrients, mm -hmm. if not more, that we know of that are missing. So when you go on a vegan diet, one of the things then you're going to lose testosterone then? 100%. Wow. Of course you will. And I actually did the blood test myself. Mm. First, I was happy because my cholesterol got low. Okay, that's good. Yeah, at first. But then... Later down the line, it went into critical levels below the average standard. Well, so people forget. Cholesterol. I mean, you do need cholesterol. There's good cholesterol, obviously. Of course. And, I mean, in nature, these, you know, how Allah designed in sun, you need those things, right? Absolutely. Cholesterol is the precursor of every single hormone in your body. Mm. If you look at the testosterone molecule, you come from a scientific background, you will see that it's based upon two cholesterol molecules. Right. It doesn't function without it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So you need cholesterol in order to produce healthy hormones within your body. That's just what it is. Yeah, anyway, so I was lacking 15 nutrients. Nobody talks about it. It's quite amazing. Even if you look at baby formula, mm -hmm. now they're adding DHA and EPA, which are essential fatty acids. Right. Five years ago, you didn't have that. Yeah. So now they found out. Science. Yeah. Totally <laughs> again, right? Another win. So they cannot at all understand what is in there. Right now, we partially know how much protein you have in a steak, how many mm -hmm. calories it has, which micronutrients that we know of. Right. But maybe there's something else in there that you don't know, right? Of course, you cannot know. Yeah. It's absolutely impossible. And this is why they found out just last week, actually, that Bill Gates, I don't even know if I can name him here. Go for it. Yeah, Bill Gates. We don't mind getting canceled over uh, I don't want you to get canceled. Anyways, his factory of plant-based meat and impossible burgers and artificial meat is actually cancer-causing. Wow. Go figure. They found out now. They did the studies yeah. again and they found it out. So there you go. If you go against nature, against your own human body, you will suffer. That's the quintessence yeah. of it. Allah made everything in a balance. Yeah. I mean, me, eat meat, eat vegetables, eat whatever is there, but in that balance and in that true balance, the halal way of life, people flourish. I would agree. And every time humans have tried to mess with that balance, we've only caused harm. Yes, yeah. Most cancer that we talk, I mean, I used to work in a company that basically was working on equipment to detect and then to try to eradicate cancer cells and things. And we had a lot of training on what causes cancer. Right. And everything would go down to certain chemicals, mm. certain unnatural processes. And you start thinking, you know, like, like if we really lived in a way that Allah designed for us, we would be cured of, I mean, so many lifestyle choices within the halal life would save us from these things. Absolutely guaranteed. In my mind, there is no doubt that if we follow the laws of God, and therefore implicit the natural laws as well, then there couldn't be such suffering. Right. Absolutely impossible. Especially if we talk about lifestyle diseases or modern-day diseases. So you have modern-day diseases, and you look at the diet. Mm -hmm. We stopped eating the way that we ate back in the day. So That's if right. we have modern day diseases, it can be only blamed upon modern day lifestyle choices exactly. and modern day foods. So we didn't have Cheerios. Yeah. We didn't have any, I don't even know how you call them, pop tarts and stuff yeah. like that that people are eating in the States, right? Yeah. You didn't have that. And therefore you didn't have that much cancer. Right. 